Welcome back. Two teams with identical 1-5 and five records try to get the upper hand on one another in District 258. The Bernalillo Spartans playing host to the Del Norte Knights. Bernalillo down 21 nothing, trying to get things going, but Ruben Jimenez gets the tackle for the loss, forcing a punt. Tyrell Jackson says, we'll take it. Him to Olin Stump for 70 yards all the way down to the 10. The Knights ready to set up shop and get it into the end zone. And then Mikel Schexnader getting in for five yards closer to the five. Jackson finishes off with the five-yard strike to Andres Real. 28 to nothing, Del Norte at the half. They go on to win the game, 42 to nothing. And look at that, miracles do happen. Our scoreboard is working now. No promises though, it might go out again. Dexter over Santa Rosa tonight, 25-14. West Las Vegas, better than Tucum carry, 67 to 34. Big district games were played last night and if you missed out, Jared Chester's back to get you caught up in the rewind, Jared. Thanks, Van, and welcome back, football fans. This week's Thursday Night Rewind, I have a few games from last night, and one of which was a huge upset in 6A. Tis the season for district play. Let's get to it. We will take it to the Eagles-Bears game first. Big rivalry between these two, and the Eagles may be undefeated, but the Bears came here to fight. To the second half we go, Eagles up 7-6. Dominic Sandoval gets the pitch from Gentry, breaks one tackle, takes it in. Eagles go up 14-6, but the Bears don't have quit in their vocabulary. Kuja. On play action, drops back and throws a pretty pass, finds Javon Jones in the end zone for six. 12 to 14 now the score, and yep, the Bears go for it. Kuyath bobbles the snap, goes to his right, nothing, looks to his left, and yep, connects with Malik Curry. This ball game is tied up at 14, and it would all come down to this. 2.4 left on the clock, and Turcotte nails it. Cue the pandemonium. Bears win it 17 to 14 and El Dorado gets their first loss on the year. What a game. All right, let's party down south. Cruz is hosting Deming and the Bulldogs are looking for that elusive win as they are on a three game losing streak coming into this one. Corey Noel gets the pitch, takes it to the outside and puts six more on the board for the Bulldogs. Cheerleaders loving it, but the Wildcats are not. Jose Ranzel says, we're still here, as he throws up a beautiful pass to Kobe Aguirre, and he gets a hop, a skip, and a jump as he takes this one over 60 yards to the house. In the end, though, the Bulldogs would just outmatch the Wildcats. Great pass from Miller to Brandon Beza, and he takes this one into the end zone. Bulldogs finally get themselves a win, 46-13, to the final. Now let's head to community. Vikings and Mustangs now tied at seven in the third. C.J. Torres breaks the tackle and he rambles all the way to the two yard line. Yep, a penalty would push the ball back as the quarter would run out. But the first play in the fourth, Torres finishes what he started. Takes it into the end zone. Vikings get the W and the final would be 21 to 17. Valley is now two and four on the year. All right, let's head to the sky. Rio Grande hosting St. Pius, and this one would be all the Sartans. Drew Ortiz on the quarterback keeper, shows off some fancy footwork. He goes into the end zone. He has the end zone on his mind, but he has to settle for the 10-yard line. And yep, it would lead to this. Ortiz makes the connection with Josh Chacon in the end zone. The Zebras say it is a touchdown. And yep, the, anyways, uh, Pius gets the big win, 45 to 15. A little taste from the action last night, but that's all I got. Let's toss it back over to Van, who has more. Van. That's all you got, man? <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Goddard and Carlsbad play out of district. The Rockets getting the opportunity to host the Cavemen this time around. And guess what? Goddard comes away with the victory. 18 to 13 is the final. We are heading into the final stretch of New Mexico football Friday. Eight-man football on the way. Can the Falcons soar again? We'll find out. Where else? On the other side. There you go.